What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl, and I'm here with some sad news about a Twilight star. Um, his name is Gregory Tyree Boyce, and like I said, he was known for starring in Twilight, and his girlfriend was found dead in a Las Vegas residence, okay? Boyce, Boyce was 30 years old, and his girlfriend, Natalie, um, was 27. They were found Wednesday, and the cause of death has not been announced. I'm sick without you. I'm torn. I'm lost. I'm in pain, Boyce mother Lisa Wayne wrote on her Facebook page on Sunday. I'll text you or call you when I was broken or worried about something, and you'll tell me, Ma, I got you. We'll get through this together. Boy, why did you leave me? That's, that's got you know, that's some pain right there for your, to find out that your son is gone, is dead, you know, and we don't really know why as of yet. So him and his girlfriend. Boys played Tyler Crawley, a high school student who brings together the two leads when he nearly runs over Bella, Bella Swan, Swanson, or is it Bella Swanson? Bella Swanson. Or Swan. Well, the Twilight chick. <laughs> Bella, oh Bella. <laughs> Her and Edward was something else in there, but I love the series. Um, did you guys love the series? With his car in the... Okay, he also acted in a short film called Cowboy. Yet, Boyce had aspirations beyond acting and hoped to open up his own restaurant, said Wayne, which is his mother. He was in the process of starting a wing business, West Wings. He created the flavors to his perfection and named them after West Coast rappers. Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, Roddy Rich, The Game, etc. Wayne wrote. I can say that my son was my favorite chef. He was onto something great, and that was his passion. Boyce is survived by his 10-year-old daughter, Alea. Um, and that's where his, um, and she's survived. His wife is survived by her baby son, Egypt. Oh, okay. It's, it's both of your son. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The, word, the way they got it worded as if that wasn't his, but it is. So, they're survived by his 10-year-old daughter, Alea, and their son, um, baby son, Egypt. Mm, mm, mm. That is really sad. He was a handsome, he was really handsome. He reminded me of, when I watched the first Twilight and, and that happened, he reminded me so much of Philip Michael Thomas. He reminded me of Philip Michael Thomas from Miami Vice. But at a young guy, yes, that's who he reminded me of. He reminded me of a young Philip Michael Thomas that played in Miami Vice when he played in Twilight. He's a little cutie, you know. He's, he was handsome. But I don't understand what happened. So I really hope that um they get to the bottom of it. Now, I was also looking in some news. And another news article was saying, I got this from NBC News. And NBC News didn't say this, but another tabloid online said, um, it was the Las Vegas Review Journal, said that white powder was found near the bodies of, actor, of, of the actor and his girlfriend. So I don't know how true that is because, hey, I don't know. But um, let me get to this this article, and it says police found white powder in a straw near the bodies of Gregory Tyree Boyce and his girlfriend after their bodies were discovered on Wednesday in a Las Vegas apartment. Okay, witness also told the police that the couple were known to use harder drugs such as cocaine and methamphetamine. According to a Las Vegas police report, which was obtained Tuesday by the Review Journal, police were called about 2.50 p.m. Wednesday to a bedroom, two-bedroom apartment in the 3300 block of Casey Drive to investigate a report of two bodies, police wrote. The caller said he last saw Boyce and his girlfriend, Natalie, about midnight, May 11th, at the residence. The witness said he noticed the couple's bedroom door was closed which wasn't usual. The witness was gone all the next day. 
and returned to the home early Wednesday at 2 p.m. that he noticed the door to the bedroom was still closed. Then he noticed Boyd's car in the parking lot. He stated he then went and began knocking on the door and eventually forced his way into the room where he found them both deceased and beyond. Help. Police said it appeared that Boyd and his girlfriend Natalie had been dead for some time. Their bedroom was not disturbed and looked to be in normal fashion. There was no plate with an unknown white there was a plate, excuse me, with an unknown white powder substance as well as a straw and a plastic card that was sitting on the dresser. There was no obvious signs of trauma to either subject. The man who discovered the bodies and other, another witness identified as the relative of boy said both subjects were known to, were known to do harder drugs. So, NBC News didn't say it because I read you the first article from NBC News, but the second article from the Las Vegas Journal, they said that if they not saying it's the cause of death, but they found white powder, a straw, and a card in the room. Okay, um, and someone who knows them said they was known to do harder drugs. So I don't know if they got a bad batch or whatever the case may be, but it's still sad. You know, it's still sad. Some people do 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 drugs, um, you know, in their own time, and they still functional. You know, but you just never know. These days, you can't buy nothing from nobody because they either lace it with some stuff or they just don't give you a good a, a good ingredient or something that you may use all the time. They may put something in it to change it, and it doesn't agree with your body. So, um, the, Clark Con the Clark County Coroner's Office will determine the pair's cause of death and the manner of it. Oh. <sighs> Mm -mm. It's just so sad. And he turned 30 on December 5th. Mm -mm -mm. It's just so sad. I really do hope they find out what the cause of death was. I really do hope it wasn't drugs. But, you know, you just never know. So, you guys, um, you know, Gregory, Tyree Boyce, may you rest in peace. And may your girlfriend, Natalie, rest in peace. Um, they have, he has a 10-year-old son, daughter, excuse me and a, a, a son named Egypt. So I hope that, um, well, as a matter of fact, I'm going to say no. He has a 10-year-old daughter named Alea, and she has a baby son named Egypt. So that is his girlfriend. I don't know how long they were dating or whatever the case may be. So you guys let me know in the comment section if you heard about this. Um, what do you think about, what do you think happened? Do you think they, they got a bad batch of drugs? What do you think happened here? Or if it's not the drugs, what do you think? What do you what kind of conclusion would you draw that you know for this happening? All right, so it's a sad thing for a mom to, you know, make funeral arrangements for your children. But you know, this is really sad. And he was a talented actor too. He's really talented. All right, I'm out. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.